Hey guys, this is Foot here, back again with you guys with another video. So today we're just going to be going really in depth on just how to be attaching each proxy onto different Chrome users because, you know, sometimes when you're trying to get a shoe from Nike, right, trying to get a shoe from Shopify, just most importantly Nike, for example, right, like you can't be having more than three accounts on one IP, right? So what you really need to do if you have like 10 accounts, 15 accounts, 20 accounts, for example, and you're a manual user, right? It's just really important for you to be able to put different proxies into each Chrome user. So you can have one tab per Chrome user, and in that tab, you can have one proxy used to for each of your, you know, just for each of your accounts so that you can you know, just keep track of all 20 and not get banned when you're trying to enter 20 20 raffles essentially for 20 accounts so yeah that's essentially why knowing how to set up proxies for manual users for chromes right it's just really important so to get started first we're just gonna you know get started with learning how to create different chrome users so to create different chrome users just go over to chrome right here and click on your little profile icon over here on the top right corner so you click it and then as you can see i have a bunch of chrome users here already but if you want to make a new one just scroll down to the bottom here scroll down to the bottom and just click click add so here you can choose a name for your person you can act literally just put it wherever you want if you want to call it like person a or something like that you can do that and same thing with pictures you can choose whatever you want and there you just made a new chrome user so Essentially, now if you have two Chrome users made, the second step is just download the proxy helper. So, download proxy helper, just search up proxy helper. And when you search proxy helper, you should see the link that directs you over to the extensions for Chromes. And you just go over there, add to Chrome, add extension, and boom, that's extension added. So, let's just do the same thing over here. Again, add to Chrome, add extension, boom. So now you want to do is you can close the download tab, and now you see that you have a main page, right, with your pack script, with your proxy servers, authentication, and that settings. And I know this may seem difficult, right, or like hard to understand, which is totally understandable because you know not everyone is very tech oriented, right? But I'm just going to tell you guys this right now. You don't have to mind this or this, okay, or this part, these two. All you need to know, all you need to concern yourself with is HTTP proxy, which is this section, and username, password, right? If your proxies are IP authenticated, which means that when you buy your proxies, you gotta go on to the proxy dashboard of your provider and actually put in your IP of which you'll be using the proxies on so that you can actually use the proxies on that IP, right? So that's, so that's IP authentication. But in terms of username and password authentication, you just get your pass you just get your you just get your proxies with the username and password attached to them. And that's normally for DC proxies. And just as a reminder to y'all, right? Most of the time, at at least you know in February 2020, you want to be using Resi proxies for Shopify, right? Because most Shopify sites have crazy bot protection nowadays. And for Nike, you can use Resis or a AIODCs. So AIODCs tend to be faster speeds. So I personally use a AIODCs for Nike. And yeah, so again, all you have to consider yourself with is the HTTP proxy, username, password, and that's all. Okay, so let's get started with putting in our proxy. So I have a couple proxies, two proxies over here. And note that all proxies are in the form of username. So you have your username. And then you have, give me a second, you actually have the proxy first, you have the proxy, then you have the port, then you have the username, and then you have the password. That's for password authentication proxies. And if you don't have pro like password authentication proxies, you have IP authentication proxies, then they're normally just proxy port like that. And because they're IP authentication, you don't have to put in a password username. And in this case, as you can see, lock the password out here for obvious reasons. 
In my case, I have username password proxies. So what I would do is that this first section, right, this first section I'm hiding before the 10000, right, that's the proxy itself. So what you want to do is you want to go back to Chrome, paste that into the HTTP proxy shift section, and then do the same thing. Then you can paste the port, which is 10000 in my case, post the port in this section. And remember, again, you don't have to touch these two sections at all. You do not have to concern yourself with these two sections. And in terms of authentication, if I were using IP authentication proxies, I wouldn't need to put in the username or password, just leave it blank. But in this case, because I have a username and a password for these proxies, I would just stick it in here. Fairly simple, just copy and paste. And same thing here. So with this section, with this section, we're gonna use a different Chrome proxy because we have two. We have different two resi proxies from unknown proxies. So we're again, again, you can see here, this part is the proxy itself. Copy the proxy, paste it in here. And same thing with port. So the port again is 10000. Right, and username and password on both sides for me is the same thing. So I just gotta copy it from here. And there you go. And that's essentially all you have to do in terms of setting up the proxy using the proxy offer. So when you're done this step, you're technically done, okay? And just to make sure everything's safe, you can reload the page, see if any information changes. So if no information changes after you reload the page, then your stuff is saved and you can close the this section. So now you want to, what you want to do to see if your proxies are working. One important part is to remember that for the proxy helper, right? See this little circle over here is not lit up right now. So if it's not lit up, that means you're using your system proxy, your system IP, which is just localhost. So whatever your, your home IP is, that's what your computer is using right now, which makes sense because you haven't turned on the proxy. And if you want to turn on the proxy, again, just go to the main page, right? And click on this circle up over here, this gray circle, click the gray circle, click HTTP proxy. And then as you can see, the circle lights up. So if the circle lights up, all that means is that your proxy has been turned on. But that doesn't mean the proxy actually works on the site you're trying to go for. So the only way to verify that is just by going on the site. So if I wanna go to Kit, for example, let's see if it works. So in this case, it's going to take a while because I'm actually based in Canada, but my proxies are US based. So it does take a while to make the connection. But in this case, you can see the site slowly loading. Like if you're running your bot on a server, if you're running these tasks on a server, right? These different Chrome tasks, or are you, if you're in the US, right? Or if you're just opening up Chrome and setting this on, on a server, like a DC server, it'd be way faster. And yeah, I'm not sure what's happening, but yeah, it's taking a while to load. But yeah, let me try this this one. Let's see if Google works. Hmm. Yeah, so if you in my case, if you see it doesn't work, that probably means that there's something wrong with the proxy. So I might have to go in later and see what's wrong. But but yeah, if if you see if you're seeing what you're seeing right now on your own on your own setup, right? Like the site can be reached, permanently moved to a new web address, something like that. If that's the case, that probably means that this proxy is probably banned already. So you just gotta generate some new proxies. But yeah, it should, shouldn't be that difficult to generate new proxies. All you gotta do is just go back to your main proxy provider, right? They have a dashboard and you can use, use a dashboard to just, you know, just regenerate the proxies. So. That's essentially all there is when it comes to, you know, just using the using the proxy helper for manual users, right? Again, all you have to do is first create the Chrome user through here, right? Through add. After you create the Chrome user, download the proxy helper. After you do that, fill in all the necessary information, right, over here. And after you do that, just go and test if it works. In this case, I don't think it's working. So I gotta go fix it later. But yeah, when you fix it, you just generate new proxies, see if the new proxy works. And yeah, 
If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. And you know, if you guys need really need help with you know some different videos, if you need some help with you know just any aspects of botting and manual, like please feel free to just leave a comment. And you know, if we get enough likes on one comment, you know, I'll be I'll definitely be interested in just helping you out, you guys, providing you guys value and making a video, another video based on you know something you guys need help with. So yeah, again, hit me up in the comments below and like and subscribe. See ya.